Steel Bridge 2012, University of Colorado, Denver. We're about to start in a couple seconds. Here's the staging area. Three, two, one, go. Go, Andrew. Andrew. Yes. People wearing yellow are the judges. We have one runner. He basically runs the materials from the staging area and the tools and the members. We are now collecting the nuts and the bolts. So this blue line right here is the end of the staging area. This blue line right here marks the edge of the river. Nobody can cross that. This green box area is the easement. The legs of the bridge may only touch the ground within this green rectangle. In the middle of the water area is another green area where the workers can stand but you can't place any members, any feet, any part of the bridge on the ground. This blue line is the end of the river. Here's the other easement for the other feet of the bridge. And here's the end of, of the area where we'll be working. So we're starting with the with the legs, which are both within the green easements. That's over three minutes in. He dropped a nut, that's a penalty. Yep. This is the pier. The pier cannot be set in the river area.
We're at about five minutes. Each worker may only hold up one piece at a time. So you may not hold up the bridge and attach a member at the same time. That's why you need two people there. Seven minutes. It's all right, you got time. For 10 minutes.
we're finishing up the left side, starting on the right side. Mostly finished with the main members, only a few left. Each of our members is about maximum size. Each piece has a size restriction.
So the general requirements for this here have legs here, legs at the end, and a cantilevered portion sticking out. When it's loaded during testing, they will place 